Exhausted from celebrate, Pete, and um, I, you know, I really don't feel like doing analytics right now. Do you want to talk? No, you can. Okay. Three, two, one. The Green Bay football Packers have but 60 minutes until they get to the Super Bowl. For Tommy Burns, I am Matty Day, and we are live from Stadium Drive. Good evening. Shall we break precedent? I'm, Mor I'm morally safer. I think we should just fucking shatter the format, man. Oh! Let's get right into it. Sheboygan shout out time. Tam! Tam, Tam, and a Sheboygan shout out. Tam, Tam! I know who I'm giving mine to. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Doodly, doodly, doodly. Who is the coach who could take out almost every other coach? Mac! You, you damn, damn right. right! My Sheboygan shout out is to the man, Michael McCarthy. I know it's supposed to be a player, but fuck it. Four NFC Championship appearances in seven years? Or 11 years? That's, it's great. Congratulations, Mike. We, uh, for those who maybe, I don't know, don't pay attention to what we do on the show, we love Mike McCarthy. I can't make it any clearer. And I'm very, very proud of our football coach this week and every week. Tommy? A lot of articles written. Yeah. A lot of smack talk. A lot of jack. And he has let it roll off the back. Because ain't nothing like that. Nothing like Big Mac. But I will bring it back. And talk about the X's and O's and plays and hoes. Because Mason Crosby knows that he can and will come back even after people rid him off. He can, he can uh, sympathize with Mac uh, after all people doubting. 20, 2012? 2012. 20, 2012. Get it out of here. Hugh, quit talking about the past. Seriously, Shit. we love you, but you know damn well that you're digging that hole again. And that's why you get such a response. But Mace... In your face, I mean, coming in and the freezing the kick, and no matter what the stats are, because they talk about the odds of, um, of freezing the kicker and everything. Bing and Crosby, White Christmas, man, it's cold. And tell me if you didn't see that thing bending to the left a little bit, and then it sneaked back into the side. Oh, I mean, I was... dude, you know who was just fucking in awe of that kick was Skip Bayless. Oh my God! In all of his life, he's never seen a kick like that. So let, let's fucking that brings us right to some shit talk, some well earned shit talk. Fuck you, Skip Bayless. And fuck, fucking Jerry Jones, man. This is bullshit. Can I start off with Jerry Jones when I was a child? But he's my child. When I was a child, I wish you would burn in the depths of hell. But now, can I just say, I really don't care. I, I, I really don't care about you now because you're just, you're just kind of a little shriveled worm to me. So, <laughs> so. Fuck Jerry Jones. Yeah. Fuck that guy. But seriously, fuck Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless, do you realize that your brother is on PBS, Rick Bayless, Mexico One Play at a Time for free with no commercials, and he probably still gets as many viewers and fan emails as you? That's undisputed. I had the hardest time separating Cole Beasley from Skip Bayless. Inside that helmet, I picture that little fucking 
dweeb running around in the field. Fucking, that, it, it, they're, they're, they're inseparable for me for, for whatever reason. Such is my hate for Skip. Cole Beasley, the wide receiver trapped in a punter's body. <laughs> as, as Angry Lank pointed out, he's like, he's, he, he's like the pony that never turned into a horse. My little Beasley. Uh, who else is on that team? There's Rain, Rain Prescott. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think yeah. we gotta talk. I mean. Oh, okay. Well, uh, one Ezekiel Ewok Elliott. Just. It's a it's a bad look, man, with the chubby cheeks and all. It's yeah. a it's a. You're a weird-looking motherfucker. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's a bad look, but it, it, maybe it's just maybe part of it is on account of us Packer fans having ourselves a, a running back who maybe did a little too much of that. Has a little bit of a weight problem. He used to grab bear claws in Alabama two at a time, and I'd get them launched right in this region here. Let's get some cheese curds. All right. What if that was Eddie's thing, like, after his run, just to go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry, it enhances your football team, it enhances your life. The Green Bay Packers are just overflowing with chemistry right now. Reminds me when I was a little kid playing with my Dr. Dreadful set out on the driveway. The bubbles and the, it was great. And it's, and it's so great what the Packers have going on right now. The, uh, so much chemistry, so much little It's all over the team. Reactions and, and Ooh, yeah. you know. It's wonderful. Jacob's Ladder? Periodic Jacob Shum? Per <laughs> periodic Table of Excellence? Totally. I, th I think there's it's it's wherever you look. Whether it's on the right side of the offensive line with TJ Lang and Brian Bulaga, they, they don't even have to say anything. They just can say it all in a look. It's amazing. Uh, um, uh, Good and Shum. I mean, they, they've talked about they just those two guys are thick as thieves. They have to let Mason do his kicking, practice and kicking, because they know they get beat, but they just do snap, 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 and you see it time after time after time after time. Chemistry. Chemistry. Uh, Jared Cook, Aaron Rodgers. Holy cats, man. Great one. For those two to just kind of come, come onto the same team, not really play a whole lot of football together, boy, did they take to each other. And really, I, Jared Cook made it sound like it's – he likened it to a marriage where you can – they are so tight – that one can start talking, and the other one can finish the other one's sentences. You watch me uh, slam this beer. Yeah, dude. Pound it. Uh, dude, fuck yeah. Dude, you see fucking Kentrell Bryce deck that motherfucker? Punk bitch. Bitch. So, you guys want to know what it's like to live in Green Bay? Bet you do. Even if you do, you want to know from us what it's like for us to live in Green Bay. The wonderful thing, you can go out any day of the week, any day of the week, and run into Green Bay Packer people. They're out there. It's a small town, community. These are real people. They have to run errands. Everybody's got to eat. Everybody, including Jolius. Jolius. I saw fucking Jolius. At the grocery store last night. Mountain of a man. Fucking A, he's gigantic, man. Oh, wow, he was in a gray sweatsuit, hood up. Um, uh -huh. Self-checkout, just like Mason Crosby. I saw two fucking captains, playoff captains, at that same self-checkout this year. It's I a fucking charmed time and uh i think i'm gonna start self-checking myself out i i was a fan i was a fan of begging myself it's just the process of you know the i bet you were yeah <laughs> <laughs> dude i and it just it, it i swear it just so happened i was walking out kind of behind him we ended at like the same time just so just it, so I, happened it really really and I, I, Mr. All, Poppers, I, no, no, Mr. No, no, Poppers, no, 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 no. come on, oh. man. I mean, I all oh, I did, not going back over. Oh. I had to say something. I, I just gave him a what up, Pep. I just, just that's it. And he gave me a turn and a look and just kind of a good, a casual point. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Listen, you guys watched last week when we had Dayton Jones himself 
on our show. Don't think it wasn't fucking flying through my head to go, oh, M Mr. Peppers, would, would you perhaps want to be on our package show? Last week we had your team at Dayton Jones on. But you can't really spit that out in in that scenario. I maybe, I, I don't fucking know. What do you do? What do you do when you see Julius Peppers, man? Well, at least you didn't make, you get better than me because I shit my pants and it wasn't even a Packers player. Oh, I man. stopped at my local Webster Avenue market and I got to see Mr. Pete Doherty. Yeah. Tremendous man. Look, I, looking cool as a cucumber. But he was just, it was, I walked out. He was walking out, so I can't do the. Yeah. Back there. But. To redeem myself, I did put in my two-week notice, and I got a job in the produce department. So I'm going to be hanging out at the Webster Avenue Market. So, Pete, and I know uh, Rob, you you know have some have some jobs mowing lawns around around the neighborhood. So if you ever stop in, I'll be there. You'll be there. I eat produce. You eat produce. I'll give you the fresh stuff. Give us some dat. I'm just saying it's. Uh, Everybody eats. Totally. You know who else I saw at the very same grocery store at the very same trip? Shut up. My dad. I saw my fucking dad. You ever been out in public and just like see your dad? Just, <laughs> hey, dad. <laughs> dad, 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 Julius Peppers is here. <laughs> Dear Bob Cooter. Cooter residence. Jim Bob speaking. Pete Carroll lucked out with him, but Dan Quinn had a pretty cool thing going. I'd like to think that Pete Carroll corrupted and derailed yes. Dan Quinn's talents. Yep. Yep. Um, he sucks now, but he used to be cool and he was under Mooch and Man Genius! Yes! <laughs> yeah, couple really? Tips on the old, uh, old odometer. How does Man Genius feel about How do I feel about that? Can we, can we get. Tina, can we get Man Genius on the phone? Tina? Tina, f seriously, it's now is not the time. It's fucking postseason, Tina. And you're bringing... Tina. Sh shut up. I'm sorry. That was my bad. No, we don't have I, him. We don't have him. We, we never had him. No. Sorry, sure. Tina. You do, you do good work. You do good work. Seriously, Tina is probably the hardest working person that you don't see on Live from Stadium Drive. Yeah. She does phenomenal work. We give her a hard time, but... We know you love you, Tina. Tina! Tina. Word. Tina. I'll, I'll, training camp, I know, the, I know the CBA dictates the hours, you know, that you play, but she goes above, above and beyond the call of duty. Tina. 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 MVP, Sheboygan shout out to Tina T. Tina T. <laughs> does it. Week in and week out for live stadium drive. She's a private producer. Oh. Producer for no money. Oh, here she go, boy, boy. Watch out, Tina. The show chew you up. Oh, here she go, oh, Tina. Oh, oh. She's a show producer. Show producer. <laughs> live from stadium drive only comes out at night. When the temperature's only right. <laughs> She doesn't bitch, she doesn't moan about what we do. The microphone is gone. <laughs> the jokes are getting old. <laughs> no way. ATL, cell phone strong, prank. Boom, boom, dun, dun, dun. It's just two boat boys and a canvas wag. Boom, boom, dun, dun. <laughs> two dope boys and a canvas wag. Yeah. Oh yeah. I feel like something does lift the minds. It's about time to make mine and yours. My prediction. What the week you're gonna pick the scores? I think it's gonna be a Packers win. Hold the fucking phone. Stop the fucking press again. I think it's gonna be about. Oh boy, gonna be a shootout. Over under about 60, man. It's gonna be about. 
boom, couple boom, more than that. Boom, 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 I think it's gonna be boom, about a whole lot of fucking more than that. Boom, Shit. Boom, 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 Love is like a bomb, baby. Boom, come and get it on. About to give you my score, my prediction. Going down to Atlanta this Sunday. What's it gonna be? All I wonder. Hey. Packers gonna rob about 45. 45 for the pack up on the Falcons, man. You gonna walk it back? Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. Gonna say 45, gonna be a high motherfucking score game. 45 38, what? 45 38, Packers on top. Hit it up, baby man, stir it in the wild. Oh, tell me what you got, son. It was just two dope boys from a camel wax. It's just two dope boys from a camel wax. That's a lie. I was born in Waukesha. Don't really know where he was born. Where exactly was you born? St. Vincent? Green Bay? Is Me? That- I'm a Tosa boy, a uh, Tosa from that burb of Milwaukee. Let me talk the spit, grip the mic, might like a Packers might hit this night, Lee. Please so Mike that I might see the frightening, frightly like Frankenstein. Frankenstein, let me hit the rhyme. Packers offense coming so high, we was kind of close coming up with the so not arrow shot right through the heart. The Packers going to get the fast start again. We're going to roll the four quarters, man. We're going to go get shit again. I'm going to go for a high scoring match. It's going to go for a 37 to a tic tac toe flow. Go 30. Who? 33 flow. That's my score. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to get him out. Spit him with the mud. Boom. 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 Dove is like a ball, maybe come and get it all. Prediction! 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 You all, thank you so much for joining us. Once again, you're the greatest fans. You're the best Packers fans because you go above and beyond and you additionally have have a, a... a, 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 you like to be entertained. You like you like the way that we rap. You like the way that we work it. Mallory, hi. How you doing? Mallory, you know you, we know you're watching. So hello. Yeah. Shout out Tyler to Tyler Alexander. You know what we're talking about. Oh, player, player Alexander. She's over there. Privacy invasion up here at live from Stadium Drive. It's so- it's a real, it's a real fucking street. What? What? Oh shit! Yeah! Oh my God.